Hello again, this is Transner38 coming to you again with another video review. And today we're taking a look at something very different and very bizarre for some people, but for not for me. I just like to try new things out once in a great while, but not for once. But again, what could you do, guys? But today we're taking a look at the new HyperWiz Polar Light Robot Triple Changer thingy. So, yeah. Something very different. So, me and my good friend Timothy bought these, bought one of each. So, he got some one, I got one. So, very cool. Something very different to check out. It says, Robot Revolution. I can't read this. So, yeah, it says, Hyper Wiz. Kind of looks like the symbols here. Kind of looks like an Autobot logo and a Decepticon logo. If you can look at them. See? You can really tell it. Hyper Wiz. So you can tell that one looks like a Decepticon symbol right off the bat. Oh, breaking my figure already. But again, what could you do, guys? What could you do? So, it's like a triple change. You got the robot. You got the tank. I already have him in. And you got the scorpion spider looking thing yeah very cool looking kind of reminds you of scorpionaut but this robot mode kind of reminds me of the transformers cybertron menasaur if you guys remember him from the transformer series but yeah very cool looking figure we'll set him off to the side take a quick look at the packaging you got a nice robot mode there, picture, and you got tank mode, and you got scorpion, and you got transform there, and all that good stuff. And we got sad child. Yeah, sad child. <laughs> and you come to the back, got more product shots, same thing. Very cool. It says volume 7. So if I'm correct, you look at the bottom, like an each sold separately. Right here's the one I got. Package is all messed up. And you got... Number six, five, four, three, two, and one. So very different looking robots. This one here kind of looks like Ironhide or Inferno. And this one here looks like one of the Transformer Goes figures. And this one looks like Prowl. So very cool. So something very different and very bizarre. And you got warnings on the back here. Can't read that. For sale in China only. Whoops. Oh well, but again, what could you do? So it's made in China, everything's made in China, boys and girls. So again, what could you do? So that's the packaging. And we got Polar Light here. We'll just call him Polar Light. <laughs> Scorpion tank looking thing. Very cool looking. So yeah, very cool. He don't have no wheels or anything and it's just you just regular tank treads <laughs> his cannon does move but it's really tight to move it well you can move it that's flexible because it's, it turns to a scorpion so yeah very cool so for size comparison why not bring in my Newest edition, Ricochet, Ricochet, whatever you can say, up against him. So, very cool comparison going on here. Very nice. So, yeah, very cool. And another size comparison, why not bring another tank robot in? Bonsai Tron. So, yeah, very cool. At least his turret moves very easily <laughs> but again what could you do so yeah so now to transform him into his robot but we're gonna go from tank to the scorpion to robot first you want to do scorpion what you want to do is come off to the side here rotate these up spread them right there open up the claws set them back down we'll rotate this back curl up the cannon same thing on this side
pull this piece back. You want to rotate his head up. You won't see his head, but you have to rotate his head up for Scorpion. <laughs> for some odd reason. You pull out his arms. Like so. Pull these pieces out like so. Wing them back like that. And now you got his scorpion mode. <laughs> very wicked looking. Something different, you know? A very cool. Very cool indeed. Yeah, he only articulation wise for his scorpion is just just his hands. These pieces do move back here, but sometimes I think they might break. But again, what could you do guys? What could you do? Now for size comparison, still we'll bring in bonsai trunk. Yeah. Yeah. But again, what could you do? So, nothing much going on here, but the robot mode is what you want to say. Now, what you want to do for robot mode is untab this thing, straighten it out. This becomes his gun. Set it off to the side. What you want to do is fold these feet up, peg them back down. Well, don't peg down. They just sit there. Pull these pieces up. Untab the feet, well, like so. He's pretty much in robot mode. Just have to straighten him out, like so. You want to pull these up? I like pulling these up. It gives them much of a cool look. His weapon can get pegged into his hand. So there you go. The polar light. Very cool. Very cool looking figure. Very nice looking. So, yeah. Very cool. Size comparison. Bring in my MP smoke screen. Oh, pretty good scale going on here. Very cool. So yeah, very cool figure. So yeah, Hypernet. I tell you, this is pretty cool looking. But the plastic wise on this is, I'd say it's good, but some of it's on the fragile side, but you gotta know what you're doing, I guess. But again, what could you do, guys? What could you do? Articulation wise for him, he can move his hand back and forth. Sand can swivel to the this way, but won't swivel over. So that's like downside of that. He has leg articulation. But he doesn't have knee joint. Unless you want to count that as a knee joint. <laughs> so. That's all I could say about this figure. Very cool figure. I highly recommend trying to find it. If you do. Try to get it. So. This is Trans Aaron 38. Reviewing. The Polar Light. Hyper Wiz Volume 7 So Yeah, very cool figure So, that's all I could say And Keep a lookout for any new videos headed your way And don't forget to Click, share Or Subscribe if you have not Have done that already And That's all I could pretty much say just keep a lookout for new videos. I do have more prizes coming up. So just stay tuned. This is Trans Aaron 38 talking to you again. Have an awesome day.